Hi, my name is Wouter Emery and I'm the founder of Airshaper. In this first video in our series on Airbus talks, Julian Maldonado will explain to us what the modern challenges in aviation are and how they plan to tackle these. Enjoy the interview! Hello, Julian. Uh, good to see you again, and welcome uh, for the interview on Airbus technology. Uh, maybe first, before we start diving into the technical details, you can give a short introduction about yourself, your role at Airbus, and so on. For sure. Uh, well, my name is uh, Julian Maldonado. I was working in, uh, in Airbus since 15 years. I was 10 years working in aerodynamics department, uh, involved in CFD, mainly CFD and wind tunnel test part of it in the flight test also. Yeah. Then I moved to the flight dynamics department. So I was working in the AC20neo uh, flight test identification. We can discuss uh, afterwards what is the identification of the flight test. Since uh, three years, I become a project manager in aircraft performance. So what are the typical general challenges? What do you focus on these days in terms of uh, aviation performance and efficiency? So, as you can imagine, Luther, Airbus is a huge company uh, and the aircraft is very complex. But all my answer will be uh, give you to you under the flight physics uh, point of view or maybe the aerodynamics point of view. Yes. That is uh, maybe your interest. So, first of all, I have to say that it's first, uh, safety is first. No? We, we work to, uh, always to, to be focused on the safety of the product. From the technical point of view, uh, we can say that the challenge that we are in front of is to reduce our emission, to yep. reduce the CO2, to reduce the NOx, to reduce the, the noise. We focus on the temperature impact of all the environment of, the, of the, our products. So Airbus has a huge challenge in front of us to reduce our emission, and we are very focused on that. Under aerodynamic perspective, we can say that we are focused on laminar flow, for example, that is uh, a technology that is impact in the drag uh, or everything that is related with the lift over drag um, ratio and to, to improve the, our performance and to optimize the trajectory. This is our focus today. And, and, and well, there's many ways of improving the general lift over drag coefficient, right? Mm -hmm. There's there's making the surfaces very clean to work away every seam that there is. There's the, the winglets, for example, on, on the, the big airplanes. What are the main topics or the main trends where you can still improve some percentages in terms of lift over drag? It's a good question. Um, in terms of the, the full drag of the aircraft, uh, we can get maybe 2% the improvement with the with the winglet that is sounds not too much. However, if you multiply every flight in terms of fuel consumption, every yeah. every aircraft for the full fleet of the customer uh, is a is a huge impact. So we have a winglet improvement of the winglet. We have a improvement on the laminar flow that we are working. Maybe you can search in internet the blade project that is uh, using laminarity in the wings or in different parts of the of the aircraft to reduce the drag. So that was it for our first video in the series Airbus Talks. Stay tuned for the next one because Julian will explain to us how they actually design airplanes using simulation techniques, wind tunnel testing and flight testing. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.